I asked, made sure that the two gentlemen who were still with me, um, that they were, that they were ready to go. Uh, the exit wasn't too far away. I told them to go. I threw a chair at the gunman and I headed for the door. As the investigation continues into the hostage situation at a North Texas synagogue, Rabbi Charlie Citron Walker is now talking about how he and the others made the daring escape after being held hostage for 11 hours. This morning, I'm joined live with two Houston area rabbis, Rabbi Chaim Lazaroff and Rabbi Brian Strauss, to give us their thoughts following the Colleyville synagogue hostage crisis. Good morning, gentlemen, and thank you so very much for joining us. Good morning. Now, Good morning. Thanks for having us. Rabbi Strauss, why do you think this particular synagogue was chosen by this terrorist? You know, from what I've read in the different reports, it was uh, close by where another convicted terrorist is being held. And so I think this deranged individual assumed that by holding people hostage at this particular synagogue, he'd be able to release, get a uh, convicted terrorist released. What did you actually think of the escape by Rabbi Citron? I'm very thankful, and I think he did the right thing. I mean, it sounded like he was trained. He uh, made sure the other people, his congregants, were ready to go, and it took a lot of courage. And uh, I'm very grateful and thankful to God that everything worked out and that the innocent uh, hostages were able to escape. Rabbi Lazaroff. Hasn't this happened at other synagogues? There have been attacks on other synagogues, and um, we are so grateful for law enforcement for keeping the hostages and the, the half the staker engaged the entire day. We have to ask, though, a larger question, which is how do we stop these kinds of events from happening? They're repeatedly happening, and we, uh, we have always been trying to fight anti-Semitism with uh, education, and we all know that ignorance is the biggest ill. And perhaps we need to start educating our societies in ways that are more just and kind and caring, like the moment of the silence that is on the Texas books and some practice only in some schools, but is not actually taken seriously in almost all schools in Texas. And those kinds of things which we can raise our society of more global awareness of goodness and kindness will uh, perhaps change the trajectory because these policies we've done until now is obviously have not worked yet to get these things to stop. Rabbi Strauss, Rabbi Lazaroff just mentioned, you know, the, the reasons that, that someone, the reasons why you have to take precautions in, in a situation like this. The rabbi in Colleyville had a little bit of training. Now, what do you think is the outpouring of support from the community since that attack? Well, there's no doubt that synagogues and all places of worship have to be prepared because this could happen anywhere. Um, but I know that we are trained. We have security. We'll continue to evaluate what we're doing, upgrade our security. Our first priority is to make sure that all members of our community want to come to services, to be uplifted, to be with others, to pray to God, can do so in safety and security. So that's our number one priority. Um, and I want to echo something that Rabbi Lazaroff said because he's absolutely right. I think the best reaction to this is elevate all of our, all groups of society um, to make us all aware of more of God in our lives, to bring us all closer to our Creator, and to bring more light into this world. And whether we're Jews, Muslims, Christians, whatever faith we have, the more light we bring into this world, um, the more likely it is that these events won't happen again. And so um, that's what we're going to continue to do. Rabbi Lazaroff, all leaders, all religious leaders, I hope will use this as um, an incentive to inspire us to do even more good works. That's the best reaction to something like this. Rabbi Chaim Lazaroff and Rabbi Ryan Strauss, thank you for your words of wisdom this morning. Thank you for having us. You can't beat 